let us tell a story of my Babcock and his glory. My Babcock was the coach of Detroit where he won the cup, and now he's a leap trying to win, and that basically sums it up. I'm a professional grinder. Ah, oh, Babcock. Scoring is so hard. Ah, oh, little Austin Matsu, my little blueberry. Hoochie-coo, hoochie-coo. <laughs> Sometimes the most important goals are the ones we make off the ice, like being better people. Hey, Babcock. Nylander, you turn over the puck again and I'll rip out your insides and feed them to you as you bleed out, you worthless piece of chud. And remember, it's just a game. Have fun. <laughs> ah, just another problem-free day as coach of the Leafs. Hey, <laughs> foolish Babcock. Your D is about to become defenseless. <laughs> oh, looks like the Leafs' top defense have been turned into sacks of potatoes. Mike's gonna have to do some creative line juggling to this already depleted defensive line. Hmm, seems like a sticky situation. Time to consult my Bab Socks. Only twenty dollars, yeah, yeah! Bab buddy, somebody has turned my top defenseman into a sack of potatoes. We're only up by one with a minute to go and badly need this for our playoff lives. What do I do? How about use Frankie Corrado? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but seriously. Well, Mike? Yes, Mike? What about Pollock? Pollock smash! No, sit back down. Pollock said. How about Gardner? And what's most important is you make sure to water your assailants. But not too much. Come on, Babcock, put some defense out there. Alright, I know what to do. Nylander! Yeah? Move aside because Sack of Potatoes is going on the ice. Aww. Aw, oh, folks, looks like Mike Babcock is going to use the sack of potatoes on D. I don't know about this. Hehehe, <laughs> Babcock. It's all over for you now. Crosby, he gets the puck. He deeks past the forwards. He's coming down. The only thing standing between him and the goalie is a sack of potatoes. Come on, potatoes. Come on. Come on. I should have stayed in Detroit. I should have stayed in Detroit. I should have stayed in Detroit. Yeah, we did it! I'm the greatest coach ever! Yeah, we won! Don't touch me. Ah, uh, you see what happens, my little blueberries? When you mix things up, sometimes it pays off. Good hit there, potatoes. Well, I guess you could say he dropped him like a hot potato. Right, right dog! <laughs> Let's all get milkshakes, my little blueberries. Nice one, Babcock. Nice one. But mark my words, I'll be back to get you and all you little leaps. Because no one messes with Phil Kessel. No.